I had just been hit by a car and there was nothing that could be done. Guys, it was so sad. Good morning, everyone. We're starting out today's vlog. Going to dance, it's dance day, and Miss Hazel is so excited. She has her cute little <laughs> dance jacket that we got her. All of her friends loved it so much, they all ordered one. So they're all gonna be twinners, just like oh, her. Oh, yeah, look. Sing, 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 sing. Brandon just really came, he's like, hey, you're looking pretty. I was like, I know it's weird when I get ready, right? I usually like wear my hair down for two days, and then wear it up in a bun for three days. And every time I wash my hair, I'm like, why don't I do this more? It feels so good. Then I'm like, oh yeah, it takes me like an hour to blow dry my hair. That's why I don't ever do it. I always feel better when I get ready. I don't know about you guys, but if you get up and get ready and get showered and do your hair and put on a cute outfit, you feel better. I'm starting this Thursday out awesome. We're gonna get Hazy to dance today and then we're gonna have a little bit of a girl's day and we are going to go to the mall with Stephanie and Leah and go do a little bit of shopping at the mall. So that'll be really fun. We'll probably take them to lunch. Just have a good time. So we're gonna get headed to dance in just a minute. We are gonna be heading to the post office here soon. Just wanna remind you guys, if you haven't gotten your Bingham swag, now is a good time. We're getting new inventory in for Christmas. Go ahead and check out our shop. This is howwebingham.com slash swag. We have t-shirts, we have trucker hats and dad hats, but we are adding to that, so be on the watch out. We're working on it. We're trying so hard, trying to get a few things finalized, but stay tuned because that is coming your way. Jump the river. <laughs> Look at all those pretty fall leaves. Can I hold your hand to cross the street? You excited for today? You only get to dance one day a week and I love it. Miss Hazy is in there. Took off her skirt. Just trying to... <laughs> Let's see how she uh, gets dressed again. She always struggles with this part. Oh, she's doing pretty good. <laughs> good job. There we go. Okay, I got Miss Hazel all settled with dance. I'm able to be there for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then I have to leave to go get Mr. Brex from school. I love picking him up from school. He's probably my favorite to pick up from school because he's just so excited still. So I'm gonna go get him right now. We'll go back to dance. The daily grind of dance day. Just picked up my Brexy doodle. How was your day, stud? Good. Let's go in and see your sister. Hey, Brexy, what's missing today? Um, glasses. Could you see the board? Mm. What for? <laughs> okay, that answers my question. Brex and I just walked in to dance, and <laughs> Steph and Ash are sitting here. They're like, Brex in your glasses. Your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> but as we were getting in the car, Brex and said, Mom, who's here? And I says, Well, there's Ashley and Stephanie. And he goes, Which Ashley? And I was like, That's a very valid question. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of Ashley. It's your you. girlfriend, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <Brexy>. <laughs> Did you get a treat? Alright, they all went to dad. Did you get a treat? Uh, a treat oh We're gonna go with Leah God. and go shopping. Hey, you're changing your clothes. Come here. Did you eat your treat already? Oh, here, I'll throw your garbage away. Daisy, you ready to go? Daisy, should we go home? Okay, let's go home. We came home and dropped off Brexin and picked up Leah and Steph. We're gonna go have a little girl's day. A little shopping. Wanna hold hands? We are just getting to the mall. Little girl's day date. Gonna go try on some clothes. Return some stuff. Yeah, we're really only here to return stuff. Just we're not kidding. spending any money. We are making money. You see? Making money. What Brandon doesn't know is that I'm going to return some and I'm gonna buy some. Yeah, I actually have no plans of buying anything today. I'm just here for the ride. Just to hang out with friends today. And my mom. What? Am I gonna eat here too? She wants to know if we're gonna eat here. Do the Binghams ever do anything without food? No. Yes. We're probably gonna have Chick-fil-A, how about that? You want Chick-fil-A nuggets? I want to eat here. Oh, that's a decorating place, we can go eat there. Okay. Walking into my very Favorite. favorite store, Brandon and I will take one of everything, and I have now got him hooked on the very same stuff. Everything in their store is just amazing. I had no intention of buying anything, but I really like this sweater, so we'll see about that. Are you guys putting them back on the right ones? Good job. It's like school. I know, I could do school at Lululemon. Yeah. Okay, good job, Stephanie. Just picked up Hazy and it made Leah sad. Okay, come on, you girls are big. You can walk. You can hold hands. Hazy, I want to make note here that uh, I did not buy anything. Come on. Oh, although, look at this sweater. That is a thick sweater, pretty. Hazy, ooh, coming up on another one of mom's favorite stores. Not going in today, though. Oh, this is Stephanie's favorite store. Oh, it is, though. These are the macarons that are really 
like it. Let us come inside. Oh my. That looks like marzipan shaped. Oh, uh, Albion. Okay. I was gonna walk next door. Here's what we came for. Albion. One of our favorites. Hi. Crazy. What should we go buy? Stephanie is buying the cute jumper. She bought them for her girls and she's trying to get hers to fit. Hazy and I have these really cute jumpers we wear. They're black. We wore them to CBX Live. And she saw me and Hazy and ours and she's like, I have to have those. So she got them for her and her girls. So she's here trying to figure out which one she needs. Meanwhile, looking at all these swimming suits makes me want to go on a vacation. You girls are silly. Really cute. Looks great, Steph. I like that length better on you. It fits really cute on you. Okay, thank you. And it will stretch. I should work here. Of course, we have to get lunch. This is our favorite place to go to because it's actually somewhat healthy for you. you Wanna get chicken nuggets? No, I want broccoli. You want broccoli? They don't have broccoli here. Hazy. Hi. Hi. What are you having for lunch? Um, food. She's very proud of her fruit, chicken nuggets, and a chocolate milk from Chick fil A. Leah is maybe the pickiest eater on the whole planet. If you guys think my kids are picky, you have not met Steph's kids yet. That is true. That is very true. Mostly Savannah. This one's not actually that picky compared to Savannah, <laughs> which says a lot. But you know what? I was like that when I was a kid, so. Yeah. And then yummy pizza, Breadsticks. chicken nuggets. You guys, it is very sunny as we're leaving it here. It is very bright. We are leaving the mall. Had a yummy lunch. Come on, Hazy girl. This way. No, no, we're, no we're going car. to the same car. You silly. Holding hands. Is it so bright? Let's go get your brothers from school, okay? Okay, can I just check the sun? That stinks sun, huh? All right, you guys. The Bingham bathroom has turned into Mindy's second salon, hair salon. Look at this, we got hair all over the place. Brad guy getting a fresh, savage do from mom. Mom is a woman of many talents. She uh, does nails, does hair, that's all. But I'll <laughs> She does it all. So I like how you can see me like in every place. There's mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. Mom is gonna be doing some haircuts here. Rag guy's up first, cause he's actually gonna come with me. We're gonna take Laz to the doctor. He's gonna go get his shots. I guess, I don't even call it a doctor, a vet. He's going to his doctor. He's gonna get his shots, assuming his temperature, his fever's gone down, which I believe it has. What am I looking at? Oh, it's that brown thing again. I gotta get to my doctor. So Rag guy's going first, cause he's gonna join me. We're gonna take Laz there, and when we get back, we'll see the final reveal of the kids' haircuts. All of them are getting haircuts today. Mom is in business. Bingham Barbershop is open. No. Not currently accepting any new clients, so. All right, guys, I'm just gonna pack up Lazzy here in his carrier. Last visit to the vet, a lot of people mentioned putting a blanket in there to make him feel a little softer, a little more comfortable, a little more at ease. Honestly, he did really well last time once we got him in there, but taking that suggestion, gonna put this in there. Went with the Olaf blanket for a number of reasons. One, it's from Frozen, and he was a Frozen kitty. And two, many of you probably don't know this, but we almost named him Olaf because he was rolled up in the snow and brought to life, but my cousin who took him in originally named him Laz or Lazarus. So anyways, fitting blanket, and the Frozen I Olaf. And Hazy wants to come too, huh? Fitting blanket for Lazzy. We're gonna put this in here, get him in here, and get him off to the vet. We are locked, loaded, ready to go. I got Rag Guy in the back taking care of little Lazzy here. Lazzy Cat, you ready to go get your shots? Wanna go get your shots? All right guys, we've arrived. I brought Rag Guy. He wanted to be my helper and he's actually being really sensitive to Laz. He wants to be the one to take him in, make him feel comfortable. So we're headed in right now. Rag Guy, you got him? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think he knows. <laughs> he's learned from his last experience here. Although he didn't really have much happen last time and he was fine. They actually made him better, but he would not come out of the carrier. That was like trying to get that was a freaking hippo out of a teacup. He can get on the floor. They let him go anywhere he wants once the door's closed. So he's gonna explore a little bit here. We're in the same room. I thought he'd be chill about that last time. Honestly, he came he right out. 
Yeah, he wants to be by people he knows for sure. Last time he popped right out of the carry, I put my arms forward like this, he walked out to me, no problem at all. This time he had both front and back legs firmly against the carrier. We had him in the scruff, was not yielding, would not get out. Oh my gosh, I think we traumatized him getting him out of there. It was pretty hard, but we got him out now. It took his temperature and it's fine. His temperature's all gone, so his fever's gone, and he's gonna get his vaccinations today. He's gonna get his shots finally, huh buddy? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you know that's coming. I don't know if you guys know this part about the story, but Ryler is the one who found Laz in the snow. He found this pure white kitten balled up in pure white snow. Literally, this is how big he was. I was just running around in the snow. I just saw a little, like, yellow. And I was like, oh, it's pee. And then I, like, <laughs> kind of fell over. And I looked at it, and it was this. So originally, Laz was pee. <laughs> yeah, he, he loves his dry guy. Goes up into his room and stays in his bed. Literally every single night. Every night, huh? And every yeah, he does love the minkies, they're so soft. They were saying that like for cats to like car rides is the most rare thing ever. I swear to you, Laz loves car rides. He just sits there, he chills. Once we get going, he'll lay right down on that blanket. Of course it helps when you got a stud like Rye Guy watching after you. <laughs> right here, Lazzy's home. Okay, open it up, Rye Guy, let's let him out. He can finally get out and be in his own home. Oh, kitty, you made it, yay! He got his shots. So they gave him a shot in his back and in his neck. He's up on his vaccinations, his rabies shot. He's good for a couple years. Where'd he go? He's getting his little loving on Brexy, just rubbing up against familiar surfaces now. Oh, cutie, cutie. Oh. So he had a very hard time coming out of the carrier this time. Oh, really? Like, it literally, took three of us to get him out. He, like, knows. Like, if I get out of here, you're yeah. going to do something to it me. It literally took three people to get him out. Last time, he just walked out to me, and this time, he's like, no, I know what happens here. He was great. They took care of him. He's good to go. His temperature's gone. He's feeling 100%, and he's He's good to go on shots. He's doing good. Good job, kitty. I pr oh, your dinner's in there. Go get your dinner. I'll go eat. Go eat, buddy. Good job, kitty cat. We are back. Laz is safe here at home and loving life again. He's feeling great. He's right over here, right back where we left off when we left the house. He's back finishing off his dinner. So he's got his appetite back and he's feeling good. It was the craziest visit to the vet probably ever. They said the hour before we got there, everything just went haywire. When we got there, they had just brought in this cat with this deadly disease that's actually a result of not getting these vaccinations. And so they did not want any other cats in the room that that cat was in. They bleached it, they got it fully sanitized, but they did not want to use it the rest of the night. They wanted to wait until tomorrow to actually put any other cats in it so we had to wait a little bit longer for that and then on top of that the room that we were waiting on a dog had just been hit by a car they brought the dog in to see what could be done and there was nothing that could be done guys it was so sad I talked to my guy about what that means what euthanasia is all about they brought the dog out on like a stretcher type thing covered in a blanket very very difficult way to walk into that appointment but man was it a crazy backed up afternoon in the vet's office we finally got lads in there got him taken care of got him back home and counting our blessings tonight that everything is well with him but he's happy, he's healthy, and he's back here with us. So I finished the kids' haircuts. I changed my clothes because I get hair everywhere. I had to show you these studs. Brexy, we did his hair. He kind of has the hard line, but I didn't go in with the rate, like with the clippers and like cut the hard line, whereas I did that with Kruby, looking like a stud. I don't, this doesn't have gel in it, I just wet it to show you guys. Kruby's looks pretty handsome. Oh yeah, Fry Guy, he likes that hard line. You know Where's him. That's side. Um, it looks like I totally slipped, but I promise I didn't. I think that you have a spot where you must have smacked your head right here when you were little. Haircuts are done. Dad's upstairs cutting his hair right now. Yep. We need to make Hazy appointment to get her hair done. What are you doing, goof? Brexy, I feel like you just stole food from the pantry. Come here. I didn't have a cracker. But you don't have to run away and hide it. Come sit here, you silly. You guys, these boys love to steal food. No, they don't. Which is funny because I usually let them eat anything they want. Except for me. Well, you're the king of sneaking food. He's the king of 
Candy. We are closing out today's vlog. You'll notice I'm in a different outfit again. I had so much hair on my clothes that I had to go change, take a shower. But these studs look so handsome in their new haircuts. So dad left us. He's off at a meeting tonight. We miss him. And I love miss him. You love and miss him? <laughs> so we are just hanging out tonight, chillaxing, just relaxing, having fun. Just watching the show and having fun. You guys, what do we tell everyone for watching us every single day and supporting and loving our family? Thank you. We love you. You guys rock. Thank you for being such a huge part of our lives, for being our biggest supporters, and for cheering us on every single day and making us smile. So we love you guys. Thank you so much. What's tomorrow? Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's the weekend. You guys, we have some super fun plans this weekend. So stick around. We love you guys. Thanks for all you do for us. We seriously love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>